everyone, welcome to my living room. Today has been a day of all things Welsh. In the post this morning, I got Wales tickets. So these are my tickets to Wales. Very, very excited about. And I, I know this is just me being really juvenile, but it really excited me that there's Welsh on it. Look, I'm not even going to try and read that because Tom will just kill me if I tried to read that. But there's loads of Welsh on them and I was like, oh my god, because yay! I haven't been to Wales since I think it was 2003, possibly even 2002, we went on a family holiday to Snowdonia in which it rained and rained and rained and there was not really much there apart from sheep and rain. But um, this should be good because I'm going to see Tom. Second Welsh thing, basically one of my best friends, Beth, she moved to Wales. She was the one who was in the VFest video with me about a year ago. Um, she moved to Wales last summer. She came back today and I hadn't seen her for 10 months. So I got to see Beth, which is really fun. And yeah, now I'm home alone and I need to do work because English A2 people, I'm not sure what board I'm on because I'm retarded at remembering stuff like that. Possibly at Excel. We've got our pre-releases for exam. I got really pissed off because for one of our pieces of coursework we had to do um, a text transformation where we turned one text into another style and I wanted to do Harry Potter but they told me that it was too young and not sophisticated enough so I wasn't allowed to do it yet text 2 Winnie the Pooh how is Winnie the Pooh more sophisticated than Harry Potter? don't get me wrong in the end I actually did Blood Brothers as my text transformation and I adore Blood Brothers with like every fibre of my being my best friend, he could swear like a soldier. I love Blood Brothers, so I did that. But still, Harry Potter would have been way more fun. They wouldn't let me do Harry Potter, yet they want me to write about Winnie the Pooh in my exam. What a joke. So moving on. At the moment, I'm reading this series. This is the number one Lady Detective Agency series. And I had to read the first one for my AS English. I really liked it. And me being me, it took me a whole year to order the rest of the series and I'm on the sixth one at the moment and it's really good and I'm not really a big fan of detective -y stuff but you should read this even if you just read it to get all the info on Botswana and culture because it's really really interesting and really really good. I had a day of junk food. What I've eaten today is just awful. I've had a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch which I refuse to call curiously cinnamon because that's a stupid name for a box of cereal. Then we got McDonald's for lunch and I had chips. And then we went and got pick a mix. Pick a mix. And then I had Pringles, which are now empty. I did not eat the whole tube, but I ate about that much of the tube. Oh, oh my god, I found a prom dress. Oh, I know it's not my prom for another year, but I found a prom dress. I'm really not a freely dressy sort of person, but it's a really, really cute dress. I love it. Anywho, Big Brother, OMG. I am already, after day two, hooked on Big Brother. I think that the people in the house are freaking amazing. Everyone's like, oh, they're just a bunch of freaks. No, they're not freaks. They're people like you and me, but more extreme. That's not freakish. That's interesting. And at the moment, I want Rodrigo to win just because he's really cute and happy all the time. But I always change my mind like loads of times throughout. So, be interesting. I'm really tired. I will see you all soon. Good luck anyone who's still got exams. I can relate and I feel for you. And I hope everyone has a good weekend. Bye.